Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 203. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Oops, but wait, <laughs> this is 202, but I'm doing 203 and 204. So don't forget when you download it, the file is going to say 185 to 202, even, there's, even though there's two extras. Hey, 203 is going to be awesome. We're going to do 21 examples of the sum if function. So let's just start off here. We want to sum Sue's sales. So here's the column for sales rep. Here's the column for sales. Actually, before I do this, I want to name these two columns something real simple. I want to name that um, SP. So I'm going to highlight that and type SP up here. SR, I mean, for sales rep. And then I want to highlight this column and name it S for sales. Nice and short, so we can have nice short. Now, there's a disadvantage when people are naming. Sometimes they like to put sales, so it's explicit. But if you're typing and you're the only one using it, uh, short is good. So let's try this. Equals sum if. And the range we want to look at, there's range for sum if, criteria, and sum range. Now, people get confused by these two things, but just notice this says the word sum, so that's an adding range. This is only used if this range doesn't include the value you're, at, you're adding. So for us, it doesn't. We're going to use SR, which is sales rep. The criteria is SU. And the comma, the sum range is S. That's our sales. Right now, um, control enter. Notice there's a capital right here, so it added one, two, and three, and I got the uh, proper 54. Now I'm going to copy this formula down and hit uh, F2. Hey, it, it got the same thing. Yeah, sum if and count if and lots of things in Excel are not case sensitive. In our next video, I'll show you how to do uh, a formula for case sensitive sum if. Now, what about if we want to add Sue's and Rob's? We could actually just uh, copy this formula right here and then hit F2. So we got uh, Rob's right now, but let's go ahead and add this, um, add another sum if, equals sum if. And we'll do the range. Remember, the range is the criteria first. Range, and because criteria comes over, that one's attached, and then the sum range. So we'll do sales rep, comma, and uh, the criteria is right here, comma, and the sales range is our S, close parentheses. So all you have to do is um, not put an equals, but a plus, and it will add their sales, Sue's and Rob's. Looks like um, uh, Rob must just have one sale, 15. And you can check it. Watch this. If you click right there and hold Control and then click there, and then hold Control and click there, and then hold Control and click there, you can check down here. There's a little, uh, in 2003 does this too, there's a, a sum, it says 69, so it looks like it got it right. Now, what about a number? Can you sum, here we did a word, can we do an actual just uh, number? Yeah, equals sum if, that means we'll add all the 14s. Now, the range for us is going to be this one, because the number, the, the criteria is actually in the range, so we hit S for the range, comma, and the criteria will be this 14. Oh, there must be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, no, my eyes aren't working. Oh, there we go. That's what happens when you do Excel too long, then you can't do basic calculations in your head. All right, how about greater than 20? Are we allowed to do that? Sure. Equals, actually, I want to show you three different ways to do this. I have some notes over here. Um, there's three different ways to do this. And depending on your situation, you want to do uh, one or the other. Now, the easiest way uh, is to just put the greater than the 21 in the cell. Then you can simply do sum if our S range and our criteria will be right here. Notice because this S range has the, cri the criteria and the things we're adding, we just leave it like that. And those are the ones greater than 71. Another way to do it, and we'll see an example of why you do this in just a moment, equals sum if, and I'm going to say the range S. And the criteria, since the 20 is here, we have to put the greater than in quotes. And then use the ampersand to join our, our criteria in a cell. And then uh, enter, and it'll get 71. Another way altogether equals sum if 
is to do our S, our, our uh, range, and the criteria you put the whole thing in quotes, greater than 20. Now, I avoid that like the plague, because I know if I build my spreadsheet smartly, then it's easy to update. If you have a bunch of criteria buried in formulas, do you even remember where your formulas are or which ones need to be changed? So I like to put it in cells. But if you're never going to change it, then by all means, do that one. Now let's try uh, greater than or equal to, equals some if, comma, oops. And our range is going to be our sales, because the criteria is in the same column as summing, comma. And I, I'm going to put the criteria right there. So greater than or equal to. And that's a much different number, because there's a bunch of 20s there. How about less than 20? Equals some if. And we got our, our range of values that also holds the criteria. So our cri criteria will be this less than. That's, so that's less than. It's not including all the ones less than 20, but not including 20. There's 86. Less than or equal to. Guess what? We can just copy this formula down, because this is lock, because we named it. And that's looking one cell to my left. So this one right here, with that one is less than or equal to. Notice you have to put in two symbols. This one right here is not not less than, greater than, all, all in a row, not 20. And that one will add all the values that are not 20. And you know, you can always check. And by the way, when you're learning how to do this, you should be um, uh, doing this. Don't just believe uh, you know, what you read and whatnot, or what the help menu, or what this video says. Go ahead and test it. 157, we got 157 there. Um, oh, and can we do this too? We can just copy this one down. Can we do not a word? Oh, no. That's wrong answer because we have to have uh, a column for criteria and a column for sum. So let's go ahead and do our sales rep for our range. The criteria is going to be not Sue. I put it in the cell, comma, and then the range is going to be S. So we'll add all of the sales that are not Sue's. 143. Now, I want to show you uh, this one. This is uh, for maybe a frequency distribution. We want to add, uh, add up all the values between two values. Actually, a frequency distribution would be for the count if. This is sum if. All we want to do is count between. We want less than 30, and, and but greater than 20. The way we're going to do it is we're going to construct two sum ifs. We're going to take um, uh, the 30, add up all those, and then subtract all the ones that are less than 20. And it will, that, by default, will find all the ones in between. So we'll say equals sum if. And the range is going to be sales, since the criteria and summing are in the same column. And our criteria will be this, minus sum if s comma. And our criteria will be right here. And sure enough, that will uh, subtract, take the bigger one, subtract the smaller one. It'll calculate all the ones in between. Now, I want to show you why sometimes you put criteria in cells, and sometimes you want it in like this. You, you don't want that less than symbol there. The reason why is because we're going to use a formula based on these, but the label over here, that's a label made with formulas. This depending on the fact that that number over there does not have a greater than symbol. So a lot of times you need to do uh, this method equals sum if s comma and then in quotes less than ampersand this 30 close parentheses and then I'm actually going to just copy this and then say minus control v and change that uh, cell reference watch this is one cool way to change it to that 20 see that right there so in this case, the reason why we didn't put the less than there is because we're going to use it for multiple formulas. And some of the formulas can't have that less than in the cell. Oh, I did it the, in the wrong uh, <coughs> direction here. So I'm going to actually do it this way. And double click this, and then click right there. There we go. Now, um, uh, we can do be below and above if we want. I'm running out of time. So above and below, you simply uh, do the criteria and add. So this one's adding all the ones above plus all the ones below. Control-Enter, so we get 79. 
You can also use wild cards. This one says, please add all the sales reps where the name begins with S. That's an asterisk, which means as many characters you want. So that adds all the people that, whose names start with S. This one says four characters after an S, so it's a five character name that starts with S, and it will add all those. Let's add um, the blanks. Now, adding the blanks is sometimes important because if a sales rep doesn't put their, their name in there, we have the sales rep column, the criteria is blank, and adding up all the sales. Finally, uh, for bank reconciliation, uh, you want to sometimes have a, a column that says reconciled, and then the, the uh, criteria will be Y, and the uh, values to add are this. The other way of doing this would be not Y, and then you add up all the ones that haven't been reconciled. All right, that was uh, 21 examples of some if. We'll see you next trick.